Well, Christian Clausen joins us now on the phone from Stockholm. Mr. Clausen, thanks very much for you for speaking to us. So, as we were hearing there, we're talking about a 43% decline in net income because of the sovereign debt crisis. How worried are you by this, given that Nordea Bank has no direct exposure to indebted countries? Well, I'm not really worried. I mean, our underlying business is developing well and growing, so income is up. But, but we have some one-off effects from the turmoil, and not so much because we have no exposure to the, to the sovereign debt countries. But what happened during this quarter, I think, for all big co commercial banks is that the, the spreading out of credit spreads, the spreading out of core spreads, government spreads in Europe, uh, and the volatility made it very difficult to, tra tra when we tra to transact business with our customers. So, so it's actually quite small effects. We have um, uh, total income is down only 11 percent, but 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 it is an environment where, it is, where it's more, more or less impossible to to maneuver. Also for our customers who need to to hedge their interest rate positions and, our, and and currency positions, because to transact business in this environment is very difficult. And then. One important point uh, for, for the bottom line is that we took a one-off provision for restructuring costs. Uh, we have a, a plan for our new normal where we um, take down our cost uh, level and become more capital efficient, and there we're going to lay off people. So we took a restructuring charge. And if you take that away, then our bottom line is actually up on the year. Uh, the first nine months of the year is 5 percent higher than last year. So in reality, so the bank just, is not impacted. Mr. Carson, sorry to interrupt you. You mentioned that you're going, going forward with cost-cutting measures beyond those that you ha are already implementing. How much further are you going to go? Yeah, but we have said that the total plan is to be efficient both on cost and capital and, and liquidity. But, but on the cost side, we're going to keep cost unchanged for a prolonged period of time. And this means, of course, that we're going to take out 4 to 5 percent of the cost base uh, per year. And right now we announced that we are taking out 2,000 people uh, yes. until the end of next year. And we are laying down some branches. We are um, changing the way we operate in a number of ways. And that requires some restructuring so costs. So, Mr. Carson, you, said, you just said that this is an environment that is almost impossible to navigate. You've described financial market conditions as being most extreme since Lehman's collapse. What needs to happen to change this? Well, it's... Um, it's really a confidence and trust issue. I mean, the, the markets are uh, in, in complete disarray on, on core anchors. You have no risk-free rate anymore. I mean, if you just look, for example, even France and Germany have spread it out considerably. So not even the French government bonds are now an anchor anymore, and, and, and so on and so forth. Of course, Greece and Italy is a separate issue. But, but these core government spreads and the core swap spreads, which spreads out, means that the anchor, where, where is the risk-free rate? Where, where is it? What, what is the anchor in our transaction so, uh, are spreading out? I mean, we run a bank with a huge balance sheet. Our balance sheet is 670 billion euros. And then, of course, even small movements in these core spreads impact us and our customers. And therefore, the impact we had on our Q3 result is, in, 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 in that, on that background, actually quite small. Um, yes, but I, I suppose I suppose it quite well. I suppose that the the feature, perhaps, what is most striking about these results is the fact that you are being impacted by tough market conditions, by the sovereign debt crisis. We're talking about a hit of 43 percent here, despite the fact that you don't have any direct exposure to these indebted European countries. So I'm just wondering that is this only going to get worse for you? No, I don't think so. I think uh, it, it is uh, not likely that this extreme turmoil continues because it will eventually curb the economic growth completely, of course. So I also think that the EU uh, summit is going to take decisions maybe already this Sunday, but within a few weeks, because I think it's clear to everyone that not taking decisions would lead to even bigger costs than actually taking decisions. And that is becoming clear to everyone. So, so this this turmoil will have to end. We have to have consumer confidence back, confidence from business need to come back. So they, they are holding back investments now. They need to invest. They need to build factories and so on. And, and if not, if we don't solve this confidence issue, then um, the cost will be much bigger to Europe than, than actually putting up these plans which they are discussing now. Thanks very much indeed, Christian Klaus and Nordea Bank CEO. Good to talk to you.